Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawmadeen. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Ehdina serota mustaqim. Serota ladina inamta alayhim. Gaywil magdubi alayhim wala dalin. Allahumma salli Allah Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Amma ba'ad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my Muslim brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah for Islam. And alhamdulillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made us an example, an ummah of encouragement, an ummah of support. How do I know this? Because mashallah, you guys have been so good to me. You know what I'm saying? In fact, it's because of this, you know what I mean, that I actually have the courage to make this video and, you know, inshallah, express my situation and what I'm going through in a way that, you know what I'm saying, uh, puts it upon your heart to help me. You know what I mean? You guys know that, mashallah, I was released from prison a month and a half ago. You guys also know that my sister, my little sister, has put me in a motel. You know what I'm saying? And, and, uh... You guys also know that my wife and my children are still 2,000 miles away in the city of Tucson, Arizona. Some of the things that, you know, we didn't talk about, you know what I mean? Uh, and uh, things that, you know, I've kind of kept to myself a little bit about is uh, one of the situations that prevented me from going back to being with my wife and my children, you know, uh, my wife converted to Islam uh, when she married me. And alhamdulillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave her that hadaya. Um, her family are super evangelical and they don't like Islam. And they resent me because they look at me as the reason for her becoming a Muslim. Now that's not the case. My wife did her own research. My wife studied. My wife learned on her own, and for a good portion of our marriage, I was incarcerated, so most everything that she learned, she learned through the help of her sisters and through her, you know, commitment and zeal to the deen. Still, it was her family that, you know, looked at me as the main problem, and they thought that getting rid of me, you know, the problem would be eradicated. And alhamdulillah, my wife is still Muslim to this day. You know what I'm saying? But she does go through her own uh, pressures. And she goes through her own fitness. And in a way, she goes through her own oppression. You know, she works for her sister. You know, and her sister doesn't allow her to wear the hijab. Her sister, you know, doesn't allow her to pray while she's at work. So my wife is, is compromising a lot of her religious and spiritual values so she could take care of our children. And unfortunately, I haven't been very useful or productive, you know, since I've come home from prison. I've, I've you know, I've, I've been doing my best. I've been documenting. Uh, you guys have seen me going to my appointments. You guys have seen me, you know, trying to get help from, you know, uh, the resource centers and all of that. Um, you know, me and my wife, we've been able to save a little bit and, uh, inshallah, we're getting closer and closer to, uh, being able to reunite with each other. You know, uh, my sister and my mom, you know what I'm saying? They're doing everything that they can to make sure that, you know, we have the support that we need. And by the time they do get out here that, you know, we should be straight, you know, um, so the reason why I share this with all of you guys, you know what I mean, is that I see a lot of people making videos, you know, asking for help and receiving it. You know, mashallah, I see some people making videos, you know, finding sponsors to send them to Umrah and Hajj, you know, uh, helping them get out of their situations that they're in by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the mercy and concern of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa salam. You know, at the advice and suggestion of some of the people that I've become friends with and, and, and have shown me brotherly concern and compassion, you know, they reminded me 
that this is a resource that I have. This is a way for me to be useful, productive, and to contribute to the overall well-being of my family. You know, I look at the fact that, mashallah, we have reached over 100,000 followers on this TikTok. And what that means to me is that to some degree, enough of you have been able to relate to me, draw inspiration and encouragement from my being transparent, truthful and honest with you guys about my experience. So this video is another documentation about the reality of my situation. You know, my baby sister, she's not going to be able to keep affording spending the $3,500 a month that it costs to keep me in this motel. You know, at some point, I'm going to be faced with having to find other means to depend on. My greatest heart's desire right now is to be the best Muslim that I could be. To avoid any haram money. To not take any backward steps. And to never, ever, ever go back into the sajin. I refuse. I won't do it. I will be homeless and sleeping under a bridge before that happens. But I realize that that doesn't have to be the case. Mashallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put me in a position... To have brothers and sisters that have already helped me. You guys, a lot of you guys have already helped me. You know my cash app and my PayPal. They're in my bio. And a lot of people have used it and they've helped me. Thus far, my situation has not been deplorable. My situation has not been harmful and hurtful as of yet. Thanks to the help of some of the sisters who have sent me groceries. Some of the brothers who have sent me money. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of you with all that is khair. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala count each dollar that you have sent me as a hasanat. And increase your thawab. I'm so grateful and so honored to be a part of this Ummah and to know that it's not that much of a stretch of the imagination for me to believe that one of you watching this video could help me. It's not beyond the strength, it's not beyond the scope of imagination that some of you watching could help me get out of this situation, help me bring my family and reunite with them. Help us. Fisa be Allah. Help us in the furtherance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's religion so that I can get back to being a father to my sons and daughter, so that I can get back to being a husband to my wife. My wife can make the hijra so that she can practice her religion without feeling oppressed. You know, the Quran says the earth is spacious. And if you meet oppression in one place, then move to another. Right now, we're not financially able to do that. But through dua and the help of my Muslim brothers and sisters, I know that it's not beyond the scope of reality that you guys can help us. Now, I openly bear witness that there is none worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I openly bear witness that Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his slave, prophet, and final messenger. And I feel encouraged enough by your support to ask for the help that I'm asking for. My cash app, my PayPal, it's in my bio. And I pray that whoever is touched enough to help that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards and counts it as hasanats and thawab. I love you guys sincerely. And it's because of your kindness that I feel brave enough to ask.